Hello, hello. Hey, it's Axos. We're back in this tunnel. Um, just doing stuff. Sorry, it's been like three days. And Mother's Day. And my brother-in-law's birthday. And I had a magic trick and he broke it. And I was like, what, dude? So I was mad at him. It was cool. It was a flying cart. I mean, it wasn't uh, cool, but I thought it was cool. Anyways, what does everyone up to? Diablo 3 comes out tomorrow. I know. You people in the future where Diablo 3 is already out are like, Oh, you're in the past. Um, I guess I'm in the past whoever watches this, but... <laughs> Diablo 3 still comes out tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking awesome! Except I have no money! So I have to, like, somehow get it! With no money! Mm. Mm. But I cannot wait. I don't know what to play. I was thinking of playing the Demon Hunter. Because in Diablo 2, I played the Assassin. So, um... So, yeah. So I thought the Demon Hunter might be a good... Good one. But the Monk, everyone's talking about the Monk. And I can see why. That class looks amazing. How the heck do I get out of here? Um... Oh my gosh. I was like, did you see that Monk? So I'm, I'm also talking about the monk like everybody else because it looks amazing. But I don't have the game. It doesn't even out yet until tomorrow. Anywho, so that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I don't really know what's in it. The new skill tree thing looks pretty neat, but you know I haven't decided yet. It's I don't even know how to describe it. It's different. Hey, there's a creep. Um, yeah, I know it's different, doesn't help. There's a zombie. Hmm. It's different. And what I mean by that is you don't pick skills like the old skill trees. Oh my gosh. Um, instead, you, you like, just buy skills for different types of attacks. It kind of reminds me of D&D 4th Ed. Like, you have a daily attack and a counterattack, but it's not quite called those things. Um, so that does make it very different. And I thought, I want to show it away. And so, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's just interesting. So you get these powers, and then you buy, like, little rune things. When I can get powers, you know, I'm not going to really be able to tell you how much about it until I try it. But it seems neat. I mean, the gameplay looks awesome. and Everybody knows Diablo 2 is, like, the best game ever. Until like better games came out, but you know, for its time, it was amazing. Um, yeah, so I cannot wait for Diablo three. And all you guys like, oh, I'm gonna get money. Yeah, like, oh, you gotta play Minecraft. I'm like, I wanna play Minecraft. I play Diablo three. <laughs> We're gonna fight, you know, zombies. <laughs> I know, I already can fight zombies. Where am I going? I thought I was leaving. Oh, you're never leaving. Oh my gosh, what the game? And what else is going on? Oh, I'm watching Fate Zero. Um, yeah. Have you guys ever seen Fate Stay Night? It's an anime. Um, that's based on a video game. That's based on a hentai video game. Well, it's not actually hentai, but it's just full of it. Uh, which I've never played, but people say it's really good, the game. Anyways. It's it's not an adult anime, even though the game is. Where am I? Ooh. Why are all these holes in the ground? That lead to your face. That way, if you ever get stuck inside, you can use a hole. Anyways, Fate Zero was made as a new anime series. It came out last year. And then the season two is coming out right now, actually. It's one of the lists of it. But it is freaking awesome. Um I guess I won't tell you too much because that, that show is it's much better than Fate Stay Night. And I thought Fate Stay Night was good. But it is so freaking cool. So what Fate Stay Night is, for those of you guys who don't know, it's an it's an anime. Um it takes place in, like, modern times. And it's about this thing called the Holy Grail Wars, which is, like, this magic world war kind of thing, where all these magic dudes, magician wizards and stuff, try to get this thing called the uh, 
the Holy Grail. Um, it happens like once every like 60 or 80 years, so they tell you somewhere how often it happens. Whatever, I'm just expositing so you don't have to exposite. Exposition, exposition. Anywho, so it's about the Holy Grail Wars. And, uh, and so what happens is there's these contestants, there's like seven, yeah, seven every year. And so you get this thing. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Okay, to be in the yeah. So what happens? You have to summon. You can summon a, or you have to summon a spirit champion or something. They're these spirits of heroes from the past. And so you get so uh, this hero, you know, like you know, like Joan of Arc or something. I don't know. Okay. And then that's your your hero, and then that person has all the the powers that their legend says they have. So, if in legend they could do blah, then they can do blah. Okay. And so then these wizards have these spirit hero dudes, and they uh, they fight to the death in this kind of secret world war. Um, and whoever wins gets to use the Holy Grail to make a miracle. It's kind of like a it's like a wish. I mean, it can't do anything, but it's pretty close to anything. Does that make sense? Um, of course it does. Anyways, so, yeah, they fight to the death for this, this thing. It's pretty cool. And, ah! That was unnecessary hole in the floor. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where I am. Anyways, it's pretty freaking cool. So we have all these wizards trying to kill each other, and then they have these champions, or spirit champions through history, killing each other. And then the uh, Fate Stay Night, which is the first season, which is about the fifth Holy Grail War. And so, you know, whatever. It's about this kid, Shira, Shakira, whatever. Some Why is it always about a kid? Anyways, he goes off, and his stepdad, or his adopted dad, who you hear was in the last one or something, he was a wizard. And then, um, the next one's about to start, and, um, so, but something happened in the last one, so there isn't really any arc mages and powerful mages to fight in it, but you don't really know what happened. And then they, anyways, he summons a champion, but he's a stupid hero complex kid, which is kind of annoying. So, and then they fight some, it has some really cool fight scenes. But the new one, Fate Zero, which... Um, Fate Stay Night on top of it's a romance, so it's kind of boring. But Fate Zero, the yeah, romance is fine, it's not terrible. What am I saying? Fate Zero, yes. So Fate Zero is about the fourth Holy Grail War, the one where something happened. And it is violent, and it is cool, and it isn't any of this sappy romance kid loser complex thing. It's just arc mages with heroes through time murdering the heck out of each other, with really cool uses of magic and technology and powers from the past. I mean, it's just nuts. So, it's really cool. So the second season is coming out right now in Japan, so you can watch it on uh, sites that stream anime from Japan. Um, and if you don't know what these sites are, I will tell you one of them. Like uh, Crunchyroll. It's called Crunchyroll, like a roll that is crunchy. So, they stream anime from Japan, and then they fan sub it. It's not dubbed. So you guys who love your dubbed animes can suck it, because it doesn't exist in that format. But yeah, Fate Zero. Oh my gosh. Um. Freaking awesome. It's just so violent, and the fight scenes are so cool. And where the heck am I? But, uh, definitely like it. Um, oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> this is terrible. I was like, I have half a heart. I don't know where I am. If I die, <laughs> this is bad. And then an archer comes up to the window. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm an archer, I'm gonna shoot you in the neck. And I'm like, yeah, even though I'm curious what's over there, I don't want to die. But yeah, Fate Zero is awesome. So I watched season one, I haven't watched season two yet on Crunchyroll. Well, what's out of season two, like I keep.
just saying, it's not actually out. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna kill myself with falling gravel. Wouldn't that just be appropriately ironic? It's happened before. Oh my gosh! My phone! Okay, I'm back. Where the heck am I being crushed by gravel? Anyways... What was I saying? I don't know. My phone scared the heck out of me. I was like, oh, I'm just yapping away to myself. You see, as long as I tell myself I'm talking to the internet, it's fine. I'm not really talking to myself, right? I'm not crazy. You're all crazy. All you internet people. You weren't even real. But, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Crunchyroll's cool, and Fade is cool. And all that stuff is freaking cool. Um... Yeah, I, I like anime. I watch a lot of the garbage. I'm an anime nerd. It's not unusual. Uh, huh. Of course I like other things in anime. What else? The new Avengers TV show is out. I saw season one on Netflix, and I was like, oh, it's so cool. And then I want to see season two, because it's Miss Marvel, and I love Miss Marvel. But, no. No, I have no money, so I have no cable. So I can't watch it. I guess I could find it on some interesting places on the interwebs. But, as we all know, well, maybe you don't all know, those interesting places can also have interesting viruses. Uh, I hate having viruses. It makes me sick. And then I'm dead. And I don't know where I am in the world. Yeah, but it seems cool. The first season was freaking awesome. And I really liked it. <sighs> I heard they're going to cancel it, though, a rumor. Because the editor, the new editor of Marvel or whatever, he's not new, but the editor of Marvel is like, oh, I feel that it's not episodal enough. And I'm like, what? You're going to cancel it? Restart the whole show and make it episodal? Episodal for you, whatever the means it's, uh, the episodes don't interlink. Each episode's completely self-contained. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that word right. Episodic? Anyways, that would bite. I'm like, so you don't have a gr greater story. It's just these episodes. And they're like, hey, I'm an episode. And, uh, yeah. I'm like, no, don't do it. But he might do it because he's a douchebag. Squish fans over. <sighs> What? What? Did I find my way out? I found a giant pit on the ground. That's like the way out, right? Uh, why are my caves so vast? Yes, yeah, Spelunking is interesting in this game. But! Yeah, so I, I, I am not thrilled with the prospect of making it episodal. Episodic. Whatever. Episode based. I'm like, why would you want to do that? And then the creator says that, because I'm stupid. Not the creator, the editor. I'm like, you can't make it episodic, then you don't have any major story. <sighs> I swear. I'm going to go kill everybody who makes these things. Wait, no, I'm not. And I want to make them. Um, but it's a cool show, but I want to see the second season, so nobody tell me what happens, because, well, you can't tell me, but if you could tell me down, like, then I'll be like, I hate you all! What's going on? They're coming out with new Indians to Mass Effect 3 soon, so all of you guys who decided that the existing ending had nothing to do with anything you did, which you're correct, it had nothing to do with anything you did, can now have new endings, which might have more to do with what you've done. Yay. I guess. What the heck am I? Oh, there's what the skeleton tries to shoot me. Okay. So, that'll be good. I never played Mass Effect as much, because I have other Bioware games. I don't know why, I just didn't get into it as much. Playing Star Wars with Republic some. Not a bad game, not a bad game. But it's not wow either. 
the one I'd hear about that. It's like, oh, I'm all Republic, I'm like, yay, and then it's like, oh, but wait, we're not, wow. Okay, that's where I fell in here. And then, um, this goes nowhere. Ugh. Oh my gosh. But, yeah, Old Republic, it, it's fun, I really like the leveling in it, and it's, that's, that's a lot of fun, I have a good time doing that. I have a problem though with the. Yeah, but I have a, a big problem with the um, in game. It pr I mean, the, it has an in game. So they did put one in the game. Mm -hmm. But my problem has to do more with the fact that it's terrible. <laughs> it, it, it feels like I'm playing Vanilla Wow again. And, um. I know a lot of you probably, well, some of you probably have, and some of you probably haven't played Vanilla WoW. But Vanilla WoW's endgame is... questionable. I mean, for its time, it was really good, but can you imagine going back to that? Being like, oh, what's up, other endgames? We're going back to Vanilla WoW! Okay! No, that's not okay. <laughs> um, it's terrible. <laughs> It's just terrible. So it it doesn't fly with me. It doesn't fly. Um. Yeah, cause it doesn't. Cause I hate it. Yeah. Huh. Sorry, there's a flaming zombie at the door. And now he's dead, and I can eat him. Delicious. Alright. We've gone through 16 of these yet. We've gone through 8. That'd be enough. You don't have to mock me, me. I'm gonna be stuck with you. Oh my gosh, gotta get this farm up to snuff. Could I just kick out one of my seeds? Yes, probably, maybe. No. That's stupid. Why would I do that? Yeah, you totally did. Oh my gosh, that farm is amazing! Look at the size of it! You can make four nothing! That's isn't terrible. That's enough to make two breads! Ah, the surface world. Look at all that clearing we have to do. Oh my gosh. It never gets done! And one day it just will be done. It'll just be like, bam, done. And then I'll be like, what happened? Bam, 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 bam. I hate odd stacks of wood. You know why? Of course you do. Actually, probably don't, because why would you? But there's nothing can spend one stupid piece of a wood plank on. Just one wood plank. What, 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 do you, what is that used for? Huh? You can't build anything with one wood plank. Oh my god. I guess fate just hates me. <laughs> fate. Stay night. <laughs> hmm. I really need to organize this garbage of mine. Man, these look terrible. Who makes cocoa beans look like piles of deer poop? Whatever. It's their cocoa beans, I guess. You know? So, oh. jeez. Everybody wants a piece of me today. Oh, wait, that's how you make these. Bam! Shovels! Levels! Or like that, Josh gives your attention. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, here's a cool little trick. See that? With the sand, how I'm super carving it? See, normally it goes like that. Like, if I did the top and the bottom, you'd go that fast. But, if you do the bottom, you could hit the sand while it's falling, and it'll just explode. Oops, I didn't go there. Um, yeah. It is slightly faster, and I have no pickaxes. But, not but anyway. It just, it, it makes everything so much faster. 
I really do enjoy it <laughs> because it makes everything so much faster. Um, digging sand is a lot better than digging the other stuff that people dig, mainly dirt. <laughs> I hate digging dirt. Alright, farm. You think you're so amazing when you have food and stuff, apparently. Alright, there's a lot of interruptions. I don't know why everybody wants to talk to me right now. I'm sitting here, just making my Minecraft video. And now they're just yapping away upstairs. Ah. Uh, Mashing around. I have to tell you, a little bit with other people is not so fun sometimes. What was I doing? Oh, they so rudely interrupted. No, I completely lose my train of thought. I'm just like, oh, I'm talking about something interesting. Oh, no, I'm not. Ah. <sighs> Calm down. Anyways. Some people. Oh, then I'm trying to text this girl. She wants to go, like, play tennis. I don't freaking know. Well, I, I do know how to play tennis, but I haven't played tennis in years. Um. So I was like, yeah, of course. And then my phone isn't working. I should get my text. So. Lots of stuff going on. I can play tennis. I can do sand. She flies away. Bam, bam. It's much faster than normal things. Normally, it doesn't, you can't do this. Um, you, you'd have to go through the whole thing layer by layer by layer, which is longer. So, clearing sand is fast. Even if it is lagging, apparently. Sand lag. Oh my gosh. But not much interesting has happened until I get all the sand removed. I mean, it's just sand. Hey, what's up? We're sand. Oh, how are you doing, sand? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just falling from the sky like a bunch of sand. Yay. You know, we made some progress, though. That's like 20 wide, even. I mean, something like that. You just have to do all of that. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. Exciting. Nothing like grinding down sand. I find it easiest, though, when you hit non sand like this. Just bam. Get rid of the sides of it. You see, so the sand falls down. And then, uh. And then it falls down. <laughs> That's pretty useful because. I don't have to stop, I can just deal with it right now. You see? Done. It's just done. And then things like gravel and dirt, like there, I... So what? I can just leave that. I'm gonna cut that off the side. Just gravel and dirt. There's a lake somewhere up here. I don't want to come right into the side of that. I'll be like, good, good, good. Oh, water all over my face! Ah, da 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 Mine and sand. What else that's going on? Not much. Not much at all. In the world. Oh yeah, I was telling you guys about Star Wars and Republic of course. Interrupted. Yeah, the in-game in that game is terrible. Um. Oh my gosh. Must I just freak out at that game. Because the story is a lot of fun, you get to freaking have a lightsaber! You like a Jedi or a Sith or something, or a bounty hunter, which I don't really like. I leveled one to max level, but I'm gonna have to say bounty hunter was not as fun as it first seemed to be. The Sith Inquisitor was fun. And the story is really cool, like, it's very interesting. I'm like, wow, where you don't care who you are and you're just one of, like, a million super champions. Um, they kind of try to make it seem like you're special in WoW, but they don't really. 
Old Republic, yeah, your character feels like an important person. And the story's really cool. Because it's made by Bioware and the Mass Effect and stuff. And Old Republic. So, in a lot of ways, it's Old Republic 3. Okay? So if you liked Old Republic, then uh, you'll probably like it. But, it also has a problem, like I keep saying, the end game. The end game is at best questionable. is pretty much non-existent. It's, it's, you get there, and it's just vanilla. Wow, it, it, has, it has raids and dungeon stuff, but then you have to sit there in the main... It's called the fleet. You sit there at the Republic fleet, or the Imperial fleet, depending on what side you're on, and you're like, looking for a group! Blah! Over and over again, like a freaking idiot. I mean, so then you can get enough gear from the dungeons. And of course, people are morons, like always. And then going, getting to the dungeons is annoying. I mean, yeah, they have some increased. Maybe in some ways it's closer to, like, Burning Crusade. It's like between Vanilla and Burning Crusade. And so then you go to the raids, which are smaller. They're called Ops. They're called Ops, yeah. And then you go, and then you're like, oh, what's up? And the bosses are fine. And the mechanics are fine. And then, but it's just so primitive feeling. It's like, I've done this. This, this is what we played in 2005. Um... 2012. Let's move forward on Ramakan. You don't even have LFG. And then on top of it, the game stopped growing. So a lot of the servers are just stuck at these smaller populations. Okay? Um, and the game stopped growing mostly because a bunch of people jo joined. They like playing the single player because a lot of people played the single player. Got all the way up to uh, 50, which is the highest level, and beat their storyline. And then the end game was just boring. This is annoying level of farming, and, uh, yeah. And it's just boring. And so they were like, oh, screw this, I'm going to go back to WoW if I'm just going to farm all day. You know? Or whatever like, other game I was playing before this one. Just WoW, because if you weren't playing WoW, what are you playing at 14? Oh my gosh. But, and then, and then it's just boring. Just boring. Oh, oh yeah, and then you don't care, because you're like, I don't have my druid, so I wasn't really hard on my druid. So that's, that's the moral of that story, is... Old Republic is an in-game failure. And it's hard to get into. Well, I want to join a guild, it's not like I can just find one easy. I mean, WoW's hard enough to get into guilds, and they struggle with that a lot in WoW. But, uh, in, uh, not guilds, only in-game, but... The barriers to entry to in-game. But it's, it's really high, because then I'm like, oh... I'm a freaking lightsaber-wielding Class X. Wait, everyone is lightsaber-wielding Class X, and nobody bothered to play, like, the Smuggler? Th that's not totally true. There's there's more Smugglers and Body Hunters and Agents and Soldiers than you would think. But some of the classes are pretty flipping rare. Um, Because everyone wanted a cool lightsaber, and it would be awesome? Well, then. Another big one is there's, like, a million Sorcerers in the game. Bugs me to death. Basically, they made a, a spellcasting class, kind of like the Mage or the Warlock in WoW. It's called the Sorcerer. It's a Sith Sorcerer. And they use the Force Light magic. Okay? But he, here's the problem. It's the only one like it. Now, they do have the Consular version, the Jedi version of it. The Jedi version uses, like, telekinesic powers, which is cool, like, to rip things out of the ground and smack people with them. Only the Sorcerer basically uses magic. Okay? No, that was really smart of me. Um, and, uh, you know, they shoot lightning, and they do cool stuff, and they're really mean and cruel. But, so then everybody who ever wanted to play to, like, whatever in WoW, who wants to make their character again, in Old Republic, has to play the Sorcerer. No, I just need one piece of sand. This is stupid. Okay. So, there's a million Sorcerers. And I'm like, Ugh. Are they like and it, it, it's a fun class, but there's not like a million of them. You thinking maybe I'm a sorcerer, but I didn't. I made an assassin, which is like a rogue. But luckily, there's several rogue classes. So you don't really realize that like smugglers can be rogues. You're like, it's a smuggler. You're like, only the assassin is like a rogue. And like, oh my gosh. Anyways, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to bed, and then I'll talk to you later. Good night. See you guys later.